did you ever wonder which process mining algorithm to choose for a particular project? If you want a quick overview, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is about my process mining toolbox. Today I'll start a comparison of different process mining algorithms. For this purpose I will use four process logs that have been created from known process models. I didn't want to use complex logs from real life or sophisticated synthetic logs. My intention here is to quickly see if an algorithm can capture the essence of a process model. In this video I'll show you the process models and tell you how the alpha miner performs on them. There will be more videos on other process mining algorithms like the inductive miner or the fuzzy miner. And in these videos I'll use the same four process models. So let's get started. Let's first look at our four example workflows and their logs. You can find them in the supplementary material which is linked below. So the first one is um, about a travel booking process. And you can see here it's a relatively simple workflow specification but there is a cancellation region going on. So it can happen that if someone cancels the request after travel request then the remaining part of the activities are cancelled here and this can occur anytime after travel request. If we look at um, the trace variants of this workflow we can, we can look at um, prom here and the trace variants you can see that travel request is always the first of course and then refining the request and there may be cancel request occurring directly after uh, travel request or whenever and then usually it is either finished by decline offer or pay the trip and book the trip. So this is the first workflow very straightforward but with the cancellation region. The second workflow is about recruiting. It starts with pick candidates and then in the second task there is a complex task with multiple instances depending on the number of candidates that have been picked and the last task is list candidates and if we look inside this individual check task we can see that it always starts with a phone interview then there is a live interview and a final approval and um, unless it just you know a candidate isn't rejected but as this is multiple instance it can occur in any order and this may make it difficult for the process discovery algorithms and if we look at the trace variance here we can see that pick candidates is always the first one list candidates the last one but in the meantime there can be a rejection anywhere and there can be several phone interviews and live interviews and whatever and it can become very long. So this is the, the second. The third example is um, called procure to pay and um, this is a workflow that is from Marlon Dumas book on business process management and it's a very long process. Uh, has some loops though, also has a cancellation region here uh, so cancelling may occur, loops may occur and then there are two sub processes. One is called use equipment which is again a little sequence with some loops inside and the second one is the payment which is just a long sequence. So the whole process becomes very long and you can see that in the trace variants here you have many variants where there are very long sequences. So this may or may not be a challenge for the process discovery algorithms. We have to see what it does. And finally the last example is a little different. Um, this one is a declarative specification which says that it always starts with 
create report exactly once and it always ends with publish report exactly once. But then in the meantime, there may be any number of edit report and check report activities as long as before there is publish report, there has been at least one check report anywhere before that. And before the report is checked, there must have been some edit report activity. But otherwise, you know, there can be edit report activities after check report and so on. And if we look at the, uh, the variants, we can see that here we have many cases where there are several check reports after another uh, edit reports in between them and so on. So this is very this is very liberal, very declarative and allowing everything that is not forbidden. The alpha algorithm is easy to understand and can serve as an introduction to process discovery in general. And um, we have to see how the alpha algorithm performs on our example logs. So the first one, um, this, this travel booking example. So um, we go just on, on travel here and select um, the alpha miner. The alpha algorithm performs quite well, except that the cancellation is not handled 100% correct, but that's a hard task. Um, we, if we look at the original model, we can have a cancel directly after travel request. And um, this is not possible in, um, in the Petrinet here that was discovered by the alpha algorithm. So, okay, let's take the next example. Um, this is the recruiting process. We apply the alpha miner here. And here we can see that the alpha miner completely fails um, because it has these isolated um, transitions here that can fire any time. And so the precision of this, um, this is not very good. And this also holds for the other variants of the alpha miner. So it, it's a complete fail on this, uh, on this process here. Um, if we look at the procure to pay example, This is another effect which is interesting. Here we have essentially one line per variant in the process. If we look at the process variants, they are exactly, you know, one for each line. And this is a trivial process model. You can always produce this kind of model, but the simplicity is not very good here. So we can also say that the alpha minor fails for this one. And last but not least, this um, write report example. Again, you can see that here we have isolated tasks and they will, you know, the, the precision will not be very good. So we can, we can start with, um, uh, with check report, for example, or, um, or we can even start with publish report. So this, you know, is not at all what we want in our process model, and it's not what's been in um, in our uh, in our traces here. If you found this interesting, stay tuned. We are going to repeat this exercise with more process mining algorithms. If you have questions or remarks, I would be happy to hear from you. See you in the next video.